The spine and joints are important components of the human motor system and participate in almost all activities. Thus, diseases and injuries in these areas lead to limitations in everyday life. Back pain makes up more than two-thirds of all pain conditions and has developed into a widespread disease. In some patients, the complaints are due to individual wear and tear phenomena, poor body posture, inherited predispositions or arise as a consequence of lack of movement. Emotional problems can also lead to pain. Many complaints arise in a particular segment of the cervical, thoracic or lumbar spine. In some cases, the pain radiates to the legs, arms, chest or back of the head. Muscle tension, spasms and limitation of movement can occur. More than 60% of the population suffers from neuropathic pain that is to be attributed to irritation or damage of the nerve roots. The complaints can be acute or chronic. Effective pain therapy must be applied as soon as possible in order to prevent a chronic condition. With the stiff electrodes used in the past, it was not possible to reach the spinal canal and it was very difficult to accurately locate the nerve pathways. With the old traditional method, it was necessary to locate each individual segment by means of a needle stick each and every time which often proved to be uncomfortable and dangerous because of possible damage to vessels and neuron structures. Treatment is totally different with the multifunction electrode that has been developed for this purpose. It arose from the idea of performing physiologic pain therapy with pulse current and attempting to influence the connection pathways in the dorsal horn, where modulation of the pain transmission occurs. This method is not destructive and only produces modulation of the pain pathways. The affected nerve pathway is treated for about 4 minutes with the pulse current. The multifunction electrode is a specially developed flexible catheter with which the nerve structures are accurately located. Epidural by sensory test stimulations, then the pulse radio frequency is applied. The epidural pulsed radio frequency treatment with the multifunctional electrode can be performed in one session, specifically from the cervical C2 through the thoracic segment, the entire lumbar segment, and also the sacral segment. All nerves treated with this method show no sensory deficits and no motor damages because they are not destroyed with heat as with the traditional method. Promising indications for therapy with the multifunction electrode are chronic pain generated by the small vertebral joints, discs or nerve irritation, facial pain, for example trigeminal neuralgia, in addition, complaints caused by shingles and certain types of headaches can be alleviated. The patient is placed flat prone position as comfortably as possible. The operative field is included in the fluoroscopic field and the skin in the area for the electrode access is anaesthetized. The puncture needle is introduced under fluoroscopic view, in this case contralaterally to the affected area into the epidural space using the loss of resistance technique. The multifunctional electrode is unpacked after successful puncture. Only products made of soft materials with very flexible tip can be used. The multifunction electrode is steered safely and reliably in the spinal canal by turning the stylet to the left or right. Now the electrode is introduced into the spinal canal through the puncture needle. The operator tries to direct the radio pack electrode tip under fluoroscopy to the nerve responsible for the pain signal. When the electrode has reached the target on the X-ray image, the proximity of the pole to the nerve is checked by using low voltage. The procedure for this is as follows. 
low voltages of 0.3 volts to 0.8 volts and a frequency between 50 and 70 Hz, I needed to test the electrode position. If the electrode position is adequate, the patient will feel a mild tingling sensation in the pain area during stimulation with these parameters. It is important that at least part of the pain area be affected by the stimulation. The high electric field that arises in this way causes chemical reactions in the nerve which reduce transmissions of pain. During the entire procedure, the operator or the medical team keep asking the patient about the spread of the stimulation and thus receive additional certainty that the active pole of the electrode tip is very close to the nerve pathway. Now the pulse mode is turned on at the generator and thus pulse current is released at the active electrode tip. This usually takes 240 milliseconds. All parameters are measured online and displayed at the generator. The application of this current is not felt by the patient. When the stimulation of the nerve has been performed, the operator locates the next effective nerve in order to repeat the procedure. Thus, several nerves can be treated in the same session, which is easier on the patient and saves time. When the operation is over, the electrode and the needle are removed together and the puncture site is cleaned and dressed. This method has been integrated as a standard into the currently practiced procedures in several pain centers. Nach der Stimulation haben nur ca. 10% der Patienten eine deutliche Schmerzlinderung. Im Durchschnitt kann man die Methode erst nach drei Wochen beurteilen. It is assumed that during this time, chemical reactions, which can inhabit or even eliminate the transmissions of pain, take place in the structure of the nerves and the posterior horn. Nach drei Wochen kann man eine Bilanz ziehen und nach drei Wochen haben ca. 70% der Patienten eine deutliche Schmerzlinderung. If the patient responds to this therapy, it can be assumed that pain relief will last up to one year or longer. Experience shows that this method is very efficient if the indication is clear. It is finding increasing acceptance due to the low risk and low invasivity.